Hello, hello, this is Kit and Kit and Cat Tutorials with Landmarkians.com. Uh, tonight we are going, well, <laughs> this afternoon we are going to learn about CVV strings. These are just thin, thin, thin strings. They're basically made from a CVV, a serial volume voxel, a compressed particle of air. Um, and we're basically using putty to make some of it visible. Alright, so we're going to learn how to make these different ones. We had some maximum stretch, we got some half stretched, we got some 45 degree angles, we got some 45 degree in a 45 degree angle, and this board you can uh, come grab from my claim. It's um, just search for landmarkians and you can come pick it up. Uh, there are rights to pick it up in one of the corners so feel free to come pick it up if you don't want to make the strings yourself. So the first thing we need to do is to make a 5x5 five five cube. I suggest always working on uh, white on black when making these strings because they are very 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 hard to see. So now we're gonna make a 5x5 five five cube Make sure you put it in face height. Once you made a 5x5 five five cube, take your selection tool, put it in the middle, and then hit your delete key. So when you look inside, you see a box of air in there. Now keep your selection tool there. Now go to your smooth tool, hold down control and then smooth, uh, it's about 20 times, it's going to stop moving after 20 times so just click, 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 click and once it stops moving, you see it stopped moving there, I can keep clicking, it's not moving I want you to let go of control, I want you to smooth two more times so if you really take a good look in there, you can see there's a tiny little, little, little pixel dot it's so tiny you can hardly see it, alright now copy that and go to one of your voxel reactors. Voxel reactor is just a placeholder pretty much. It um it just contains a four I'm sorry, eight different blocks. A eight eight blocks in a square. And I want you to paste this thing down. And as you probably didn't know, but with C V V serial volume voxels you cannot move your cursor around when you paste it down so you have to go into tweak mode and I'll show that to you again see I see nothing happens when I move it it's not there so you wanna shift click and then you wanna paste with air you wanna have it checked you wanna move this guy in the middle tricky. Once you got it in there you're gonna see all the eight corners are going to grab in there and as you can see there you can't really see anything there you just see air right so we're gonna change that now you're gonna take your putty and make sure that your putty is at least one voxel in procedural ground because if you just paint the surface it actually comes out corrupted it might not look like it when you've been using it for other things but it does become corrupted so painting three voxels deep into your procedural ground I'll show you right here people don't know how to do that and again we use white on black Alright, so we're gonna do your selection tool, drag it out three voxels, dump it in, paint tool, paint. Alright, now you wanna not grab the first one, 
I'll grab the middle one. And then just putty this compressed air voxel in here. Once you putty that guy in here, if you really get in close, now you can actually see something there. But yeah, you might take your glasses out, but it's there. Alright, so now when we paste this, see, now we can move it around. So this is the tool that we needed to make these strings. Alright, we can delete this block because we're not going to be using this block again. Alright, now in order to make your first string, we're going to make the one that's kind of offset. So we're going to take, take this thing down and we're going to click once get on your translate axis and just go one time to the right and there you go there you got your first string now right now this is actually two voxels all right so when you went to the right and click down you actually stretch the left little tiny tiny CVV uh, to the right all right so we want to select the left one And for storage purposes, I suggest keeping them in here so you don't get them lost. Alright, so you can see how it's going over to the right. So it's kind of pointing out. This is also the one you make the serpentine spiral right here. Also use them to make this part of this uh, lamp. So to show you how to use this one real quick, you want to clean up after yourself here. You want to really, really heal the area because otherwise those little things that are invisible are going to make some nasty stuff. Alright, to make that first shape to make serpentine spirals, you want to paste down, paste that down once, and then go to your um, green, in this case, because I'm facing north, uh, you want to uh, go to your uh, blue rotate axis, and if you make it go in a circle clockwise, you can see that the axis is in the middle right now. So the axis is actually touching that other voxel. Now you're actually tux, touching voxel, uh, axis to axis. That means that if I paste it anywhere here it would just move direction of this. It would not weld at all because you cannot inhabit two axes in the same space. Paradox! So what you want to do is you want to make sure that it's away from it all right so once you uh, and, and uh, if you want to weld it together all right otherwise we we'll just do that so you want to move it away now the axis is away from it now I can weld it to it all right now I can make different shapes with it or I can stretch it to a um to a uh, macro or just extra or maximum stretched string. This one also has very good uses and it's just one voxel. All right. You can also make my panels out of it and they're <laughs> very very thin panels so uh, you come from one direction you're not going to be able to see it so it's going to hit your face. But anyway, in order to make that shape just delete these Grab it again. Whoops, grabbed the wrong one. Silly. Alright. Again, you want to paste it down. Then you want to rotate it to 9 o'clock. Then just go up once. Now it stretch it. 
So now you can see this is actually the voxel because the fr the voxel I pulled out, I pushed up here. That's where this voxel stretched to. So this up here is still a string. See, that's still a string. Now the bottom part of this is the new shape that you make. Ta-da! All right, so in order to make that pattern, that spiral pattern, you would obviously have to flip this one so it's pointing upward. And the important thing is, again, like I said with axis, let's move this one over. All right, so you'd think you can put it here right now, but oh, no, you can't. It's going to mess up because where is your axis? It's too close. So we're going to make sure that this axis is away from the other voxel. So it looks like we have to go over here. There you go. And then you just repeat this pattern all the way around. So again, if I want to do the next step, it's a little tricky. I want to go up, over, then find out where your axis is. Okay, my axis is out here. All right, so we're going to turn it that way. And we're going to move it over here and away from it. There you go. If now, if I had turned it the other way around and my axis had been down here, it would have just been a one big mess. It would just go boom. So that's no good. And you just continue that pattern up. If you want to easily attach this to something you can just use putty in the bottom and it'll it won't distort it it'll just kind of make a little pedestal or any stretch voxel you can also pair it up with because stretch voxel it can't stretch more than that oh maximum stretch anyway all right so I showed you how to do the offset string and then the maximize string and uh, now let's make a 45 degree angle string. So we'll go back and grab our putty CVV. Make sure you're in a clean space. Paste it down. Try not to move your mouse when you're doing this or you're gonna move it and it's not gonna get a good result. So you wanna go up and right. There's your 45 degree angle. Now, again, remember what I said, one of these is one little tiny CVV, putty CVV, and the other one is the actual stretched string. All right, so the bottom one is the right one. So we put that one in the reactor. Oh, looks like I missed there. Now that's an offset, so we want to maximize that one out so it goes all the way down, maximum stretched. So we can just grab the same one here. Now it gets a little trickier because then all of a sudden you start working in these weird angles, it just messes with your head. Your eyes just don't understand it. All right, go to your blue axis if you're facing north or south, and if not, you just do the other axis and turn it around see the way it goes doom, doom, doom. we want to go down to eight o'clock there so we want to keep the axis close to the other voxel we want to go down and over to force this one to stretch out there you go now we stretch that top voxel so this one up here which was before was the same size as that we've now forced it to stretch itself down to this other axis so we can select the middle right here. Now we got a maximum stretched 45 degree CVV, putted CVV. Put this one in here. All right. Now we have one left. This is truly the hardest one. Uh, 
I still messed this one up. So <laughs> let's see if I can do it the first time here. I'm not counting on it. Let's see. We will grab. See, I forgot to delete this string earlier. Almost took my face out. All right, so we're gonna grab this guy right over here, 45 degree angle. Now, let's see if I can remember this. See, I'm already doing it the wrong way. <laughs> Oh, wait a minute. Uh, let's see. I think there was actually a different way of doing it here. There we go. Yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> All right, so you want to grab your CVV, puttied CVV over here, and you want to paste it down, then go down, away, and over. There you go. Now you got the 45 degree. 45, 45 degree. I never really understood what to call these. They're just going, they, they go to the northeast, southwest, and, and so on. They go all the angles that we don't normally build in, in a 45 degree angle. This one's even more tricky to put in your reactor. Even better reason to put it in there. So you don't lose it. In order to make a stretched, pitched, and rolled 45 degree angle string, the easiest way, honestly, is to copy the reactor Paste it somewhere else. Copy the bottom voxel that is dented in. Then mirror on the green axis with B. Mirror on the blue axis with B. Mirror on the red axis with B. This will make it diagonally the exact opposite of that bottom voxel we copied. And then you're going to paste it over the top diagonal voxel that is furthest away from the voxel you just copied. Now this will have forced the voxel in the reactor to react to the voxel you just pasted in there, why it's called a reactor, and it will have stretched out. It's very difficult to see. When you have made that voxel, just copy the entire reactor and place it with your collection of other voxels that you've already made. Have fun with them and hope you make some beautiful creations with these interesting and unique shapes.